Um, can I thank you all uh, for being here tonight uh, to launch uh, Rock and Roll Exchange. Uh, I'll talk more on the band shortly, but can I start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land and pay my respects to their elders, both past and present. I'd like to uh, welcome my very good friends, uh, Ross Spence, the member for your Rock, and Councillor Casey Nunn, hiding at the back there. Uh, most importantly, I want to thank you all for coming here tonight. Uh, we know this is something that's a little different, but we're not afraid of something that's a little different, something new and something that's hopefully a great success. Um, can I say that tonight wouldn't have happened uh, without the tireless work of Sharon, uh, Michaela, Adam, who's also hiding uh, on the front table there, uh, and Jared, who I believe is on his way. Um, can I thank the Diggers Rest Football Netball and Cricket Clubs for having us here tonight in a place uh, where I've spent many hours and also a few dollars. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Uh, it's a place, as Sharon mentioned, that uh, we celebrated uh, long and hard into uh, the, uh, last year um, on election night. Uh, with the election of my great mate, Ros, who I've already mentioned, and most importantly, the Andrews Labor government. Personally, uh, since that night, I've said this to a few people actually, but I don't think time has ever gone so, uh, so fast um, over this, this past year. Uh, but since coming to government, we have achieved a huge amount, but there is so much more to be done. We are a government that is getting on with it. Uh, we are a government that is getting on with what we said we would do. We're doing things that Victorians voted for and making Victoria a stronger, fairer and safer place. Just uh, last week in Parliament, we introduced a bill to give same-sex couples the right to adopt and the right to be recognised as parents under the law. And this is something that I'm very proud of. We're investing massively uh, in education to make, uh, to make Victoria the education state. I'm not sure whether anyone has an education state number plate yet, but uh, I believe they were released today. Uh, and there's not a school in Victoria that didn't receive a boost in their budget just three weeks ago. We've done things like end the war on paramedics uh, and firefighters, and we're committed to seeing this state grow stronger, safer, and fairer. But tonight isn't, uh, isn't about us, it's about rock and roll exchange. And before I go to the guest artist, I just wanted to thank Brad uh, Stewart. There's Brad, looking very sharp, Bradley. Um, Brad's uh, been a full-time paid union official uh, within the trade uh, union movement since 1993. He's currently the vice president of the summary branch of the Victorian Labor Party. Um, Brad's got a great story. Uh, for me, and uh, like many people in 2013, he was fed up with politics. And like, let's face it, people can get fed up with politics. I completely understand that. Uh, but what's remarkable, and I guess inspirational about Brad, is that he took uh, that frustration, uh, those annoyances, uh, and he he turned uh, that into activism. He turned that into constructive feedback, and he played a, a vital role in the summary campaign last year. And he plays a vital role um, today, and I hope tomorrow in the years to come. He went from a frustrated spectator to vice president of the summary branch, and now he's uh, he's gone from strength to strength tonight as he fronts Rock and Roll Exchange. Rock and Roll Exchange is a campaigning rock band that is pro Labor Party, pro the union movement, ACTU, state labor councils, and affiliated unions. This is an off their website, by the way. Rock and Roll Exchange is a premier rock and roll cover band. Uh, great for your functions, uh, rallies, campaign launches uh, and conferences. So Casey and others uh, certainly keep Rock and Roll Exchange in mind. The footy clubs actually already uh, said to me tonight that, uh, that they may be keen to have Rock and Roll Exchange back. So that's a great, that's a great thing already. Uh, I'm told that, uh, that they'll be covering the Angels, ACDC, Van Halen and in future uh, Midnight Oil. And I know Ros, it'll make you very happy. Uh, joining Brad, uh, we have three guest artists. We've got Danny on lead vocals, uh, Drew on bass guitar, and Stevie, Stevie G on the drums. And I can tell you that the drums are uh, some pretty serious stuff. Brad and the artists, uh, the artists support uh, causes such as access to Medicare, quality public hospitals, quality schools, action on climate change, standing up to family violence, supporting marriage equality, fair industrial relations, uh, fair workers' compensation and quality rehabilitation for injured workers, workers' rights and improved living standard, standards by publicly funded education uh, and higher wages. Fantastic stuff. 
I'm yet to hear, well, actually, I've got in, I've got in here, I'm yet to hear Rock and Roll Exchange, but that's actually why, because I didn't expect to, uh, to walk into the place today and, and see them rocking. Um, uh, Brad, uh, I know that uh, I know that you guys will do uh, an outstanding job. Uh, I'm very proud of you, and I just wanted to say that uh, I'm thrilled that you're here tonight. I wish you every success going forward, uh, and I want uh, you all to have a great night. Enjoy uh, a drink, enjoy each other's company, and with those very short comments, it's uh, my great pleasure to launch Rock and Roll Exchange. Thank you. Danny. Danny. <laughs> Danny.